Technology is the key to tomorrow. Technology is the bridge between the world of science and the everyday world we live in. Each year, nearly 70,000 engineers graduate from institutes across India. The management acumen and technical skill of Indian personnel is acknowledged across the world today. However, in the coming years, experts predict that there will be a demand for more than 4 million personnel annually for various fast-expanding branches of technology. And it is this task that one of India's premier institutes has made its mission. The Siddhaganga Institute of Technology or SIT. It was high, our high ambition to develop the institution into first state institution and to train good engineers and competent engineers who can take the civil society and nation at large. Located in a lush, green and serene campus, 65 kilometers from the city of Bangalore, SIT was started in 1963 with just three branches of engineering. Today, the institute has grown to offer courses in 11 disciplines at the graduate level and in four disciplines at the postgraduate level, housing over 50 laboratories and a dozen computer centers the entire institute is intra-networked with a fiber optic backbone. The library at SIT has nearly 52,000 books, 2,000 technical periodicals and 1,600 volumes of dissertations. A unique jukebox facility with 250 compact discs lets students access information from a gamut of subjects. With the right facilities and infrastructure, the Institute offers courses in a range of subjects, from engineering to management. The Department of Computer Science at SIT offers courses in Computer Science and Engineering, Information Technology and Master of Computer Applications. With workshops, guest lectures and seminars throughout the year, the department ensures that students are kept abreast with the latest cutting-edge technologies. This is seen by the fact that several students from SIT have found placements in some of the leading companies in the IT industry. The Department of Electrical Sciences offers engineering courses in electrical and electronics, electronics and communications, and instrumentation and electronics. Each year, the department conducts annual symposiums and exhibitions to give students the right training in the preparation and presentation of papers. Students are given hands-on experience in designing equipment through bridge courses conducted by the department in collaboration with various industries and institutions of advanced learning. The Mechanical Sciences Department at SIT offers courses in Mechanical Engineering, Industrial Engineering and Management with a full-fledged CAD CAM and Robotics Center equipped with the latest computer systems the department trains its students by simulating actual work environment at its laboratory. The Civil Engineering Department at SIT established nearly three decades ago comprises advanced laboratories in the areas of structural engineering hydraulics and environmental laboratories. The Department of Chemical Engineering offers graduate and postgraduate courses. In the last five years, this department has bagged 15 of the 30 ranks declared by the Bangalore University. The Department of Architecture, true to its name, is housed in a building that is aesthetically designed by the department's faculty in association with Mukul Mitra, a leading architect in India. The department's courses combine various aspects of heritage, continuum, austerity with scientific and engineering appropriateness. The postgraduate department in management studies is a course that is geared to train its students to face the challenges posed by the emerging global environment. 
the admission to various courses at SIT is based on the performance of students in the common entrance test conducted by the government of Karnataka. Each year, 15% of seats have been earmarked for non-resident Indian students. Our campus has also the facility for uh, companies to visit our campus and recruit students and nearly 30 to 40 stu 40 percent of our students are getting placed through campus interviews. Through periodic general aptitude tests, technical aptitude tests, group discussions and mock interviews, students are prepared to face the industrial scenario in their roles as the engineers and managers of tomorrow. The students at SIT represent a miniature India as they come from diverse regions across the country. Accommodation of students is a matter of priority to SIT. With its own hostels housing 1,000 students on the campus, SIT also has two separate hostels for its lady students which can accommodate 450. A well-maintained guest house is also part of the SIT. The guest house comprises five spacious and well-furnished rooms and can accommodate nearly 15 guests. It is said that a sound body leads to a sound mind. Students at SIT work out at its well-equipped gymnasium built at a total cost of three and a half lakhs. SIT also hosts several state and university level tournaments at its outdoor stadium built with an investment of nearly 70 lakhs. And it is such training, one that is holistic, focused and dynamic that SIT offers as India takes rapid steps towards becoming one of the global destinations in technology, this is the kind of training that will make us the true leaders in tomorrow's world.